Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the daily reading. Welcome to the 1st of July. Can you stand it? It's July. You know, our summer's here uh, in the Northeast. And the United States are short. <laughs> so, July, August, and that's it. And then you have a little bit in September, and it's gone. Man, and then comes my favorite, my favorite time is, is um, fall. But anyway, autumn. <laughs> Enough about that. So, what do we have here? Three cards. Moon, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, and again, the Ace of Diamonds. This is, I'm just going. The, I'm just going to call him the Dragon. His name is actually Ignita. Um, so there's the Dragon again. This time in its upright position. What's going on here? This Dragon is tethered down. It is tethered down. It is really, really protecting this treasure right in the middle here okay so there's something going on here something bigger than what the eye can see okay you know in this playing uh, playing card oracle this card signifies what was it it's an ego um, also the sense of self you know um, it's interesting though because I the ego is really coming through here. <laughs> you want to sense the self, but your ego is getting the best of you. Hmm. And what is another interesting element that we see here? Anyone raising their hands? Okay, you. Right. The Ace of Cups. We have another water card right in the middle of our three card spread. What's going on? Yesterday we had the Queen of Cups. Here we have the Ace of Cups. I call this the offering cup, the cup of the offering. Okay, and those of you who have been watching for quite some time, that's what I call this card, the offering. I also call it other things. But something's going on. The off this offering is overflowing, that's for sure. Look at all these little streams. It's just coming out the cup and it's flowing everywhere. Flowing everywhere. The offer is flowing everywhere. Why? What's going on here? We've got the moon. This is a, a card of uh, fear, but really something that's hidden, okay? I... I straight up call this a deception card. It's a beautiful image, by the way, if you look at this moon card. It's, it, it has little gold highlights on it, but... Okay, the clouds are doing something crazy right now. I don't know. So, yeah. What a beautiful card. So what's going on? What is coming out? What wants to come out? Why are we howling at the moon? What, what are we hollering at? What's going on? Okay, you've got water, water, and then fire fire the diamonds in the playing card oracle is the fire suit it's associated with fire but in in regular you know tarot diamonds are associated with the pentacles earth we had pentacles yesterday surrounding the queen of cups this is interesting so we've got a fear of something a fear of what of I don't say I don't think it's a, a fear of an of an offering. So I would say that there is some sort of energy here that is deceptive regarding an offering. There's a deception. There is something that is at at the very least is unclear, and that lack of clarity is is what leads to this obstacle here, the nine of wands. It's an obstacle. So we have a lack of clarity. Okay, regarding this offering, this new beginning, this new relationship, this new something. I don't like that the uh, dragon in its upright position is crowning this card, the water card, because we have opposites again, right? Fire and water, just they don't mix, okay? So we're unclear. We're unclear. I feel like we're unclear about this relationship. Whoever this is representing is unclear about the relationship. And because of yesterday's reading, um, there's a little bit of fear of really expressing what it is they want to express regarding the relationship, the thing. I say relationship because it's cups, but there's a fear of really truly expressing the truth, the inner workings of their heart, what's going on in their mind. Um, 
and that creates an obstacle. And we've got the nine of wands. Nine of wands, you see uh, the wands are lined up and it almost looks like a ladder, a ladder climbing up this tree, you know? And each little bit of the way, you know, that's a bit of a challenge, right? And it's interesting because uh, each of these three wands are so spaced apart. So once you get to this one, to get to the other one, my goodness, you're doing like some kind of... Uh, the next what is that ninja warrior <laughs> it's like a ninja warrior competition just to get to the next rung here you know so there is this is a challenge there's a there's a lot of there's a challenge going on here there's definitely a challenge with the fire fire and the water water and i really do feel it's like the opposites you have you know you have a personality that is um more intuitive okay um also more secretive the moon card is you know they want to be they're much more reserved or secretive not that they're trying to be totally deceptive but you know they're just a bit on the reserve side um vice is fire in the belly it's like the bull in the china in the china store you know what i'm talking about so we've got two very different personalities here and i really don't feel like they're getting along it it's just not exactly the match made in heaven here you know so whether this is an actual romantic relationship, a regular friendship, partnership with someone at work, you know, your partners with someone, you're stuck with them, and you two are just night and day. And I know they say opposites attract, you know, but you also should have commonalities. And if, if you're afraid to express certain things, then that's really setting this whole relationship, relationship up for failure. This person expresses freely what they want to the point that it's it's a bit too much and it becomes a hindrance and it's on its own so i'm going to stop right there um but yeah these are opposites here this is a reading about opposites opposite energies that are not synergistic okay we don't have synergy here there is a lack of synergy that is the message for today blessings from me to you always and i will see you tomorrow for the, for the uh wednesday reading bye bye